Liam coming in right now as well. Double stack masterclass. Welcome back everyone to some more F123 driver career mode heading into the Australian Grand Prix this time. The true colors of this car showed up last time when we struggled around Saudi Arabia P5 finish after a lucky red flag and we used that to the best of our advantage because we pit during that time and then came back out in a P11 and then went on to grab P5. But let us see if we can find some stability in this car heading into Australia and uh yeah make some improvements from our last time out if you are enjoying the series of course make sure you smash that like button and subscribe using the red button down below i really do appreciate your support all right so we got one of the upgrades in the wing mirrors upgrade for aerodynamics and that brings us up to the midfield now not too far away from mercedes but ahead of williams haas alfa romeo and alfa tauri so this is looking good for the team we also got some facility upgrades so this is good um the car is slowly making its way back up to the front but Alpine are way ahead with Aston Martin McLaren and Red Bull so they are way ahead from us but we'll see if we can stay competitive today we will make some adjustments to the car and see if it's more stable than last time out so let's head to St. Albert Park Circuit or is it St. Albert I don't know it's Albert Park Circuit let's head to Australia for the Australian Grand Prix Welcome to Australia. We are in the neighborhood of Liam Lawson. The New Zealand driver is in his Oceania neighborhood and we are here in the large island that is just next to New Zealand. We are heading into this one with some shaky feeling about the car but I am feeling a little more confident today after the practice runs. So let's see if I can put this car on pole again. Uh, let's see what kind of uh, finesse I can put into driving and how well I can maneuver this car around the circuit. Much smoother, let's go. That is it, that is what we love to see. Crossing the line, where do we sit? P5, let's get a little faster here. Oh wow, I didn't improve on my second lap and I just stayed in. And here we are then at the end, Liam Lawson P7, I'm in P14. So we just about scraped through to Q2. Pocher, Albon, Bottas, Magnussen, and Joe out. Moving on to Q2 then, this is a good sign at least. All right, let's take a look and see what this lap is like. P9, three times behind my teammate. Way, okay, tense improved. Surely that's gonna get me up a couple positions. P3. Let's go P3, baby. Yes, just like that. We make it through in P8 by the end of the session. Pierre Gasly tops Q2. Sergeant Lawson, Sonoda, signs and DeVries out. Yeah, all right, let's move to the final round in Q3 and see if we can put this car on pole. All right, let's see what we've got. It's raining. Still dry tire conditions. We're P2 right now, 19,000 away from Piastri. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Three tenths improved, the fuel's out. Track is starting to dry, or start, track is starting to get more damp. Fastest lap, let's go. That was a lap and a half. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant to put ourselves P1 right now. Rain is getting worse. There we go, we're back baby, we're back. The rain got worse and no one went out, No one else went out to do another lap. So pole position for us by a 10th in Gasly. So that is a stonking lap. Track is feeling good, car is feeling much better than last time. So let's head on into this Grand Prix and see if we can maintain this pole position position all the way to the end of the race. Welcome to Melbourne and welcome to the Australian Sun. We're still getting used to some track revisions here, but the core hasn't changed. This is a beloved classic of the F1 calendar and it's time for the Australian Grand Prix. 
So here we are at Albert Park Circuit, 3.28 miles around with the streets making for a bumpy surface with little undulation. There are 14 corners around the lake with the best passing opportunities coming at turn one and turn three. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Sunshine lines up on pole position and it's Pierre Gasly in P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Russell, Oscar Piastri, Leclerc, Stroll, Verstappen, Norris, Ocon, De Vries, Sainz, Sonoda, Liam Lawson, Sargent, Cho, Hamilton, Magnussen, Bottas, Albon, and Theo Porsche. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. All right, here we go, Grand Prix time. I am a little cautious about our car performance, uh, mainly because I know the car isn't great. Um, so I want to make sure I do the best I possibly can um, and try to maintain this position. Defend like a lion. We saw last time out that the other cars just zoom off ahead because they are much faster than our car. But it's going to be a hard medium strategy. It is going to be a little bit faster than the uh, medium softs or soft medium strat. Um, and it's going to be more resilient. So let's see how we do. So let's start this race. And let's get on with seeing if we can maintain p1 that's the big mission all right here we go then it is five red lights here in australia lights out and away we go splendid getaway splendid getaway let's try and stay ahead whoa what is that rear end giving out that is not what we need oh i felt something I don't know if that was like a screen jolt that sometimes happens when I play this game with Streamlabs or if that's a collision. Might have been a collision. Gazi pulling back. Okay, okay. Gazi's coming back though. They have much lower downforce, I think. Because I lose out so much time in Sector 2. I noticed that in qualifying, that was not great. Let's see if there's damage. There's no damage. Come on. Okay, yep, Gazi's in, so he must have some form of damage. Alright, lap one done. We have 28, 27 more to go. 28 more to go, because that was only lap one. We need the guys behind to fight a little more. This is what Carlos Sainz must have felt at the Australian Grand Prix after Max Verstappen had a uh, brake failure. They as well called this Carlos Sainz Simulator. And also, who lets Stroll cook? Game's so unrealistic. Hold on, I'm getting green flag flashes. Must mean that there's some kind of yellow flag occurring behind us. Yep, it looks like someone's... Okay, Logan Sargent is going out. He's going slowly and he's out of the race. Wonder what happened to him. Okay, there's Sargent in the wall there. Oh, that was horrible for me. Valtteri Bottas is out now. Valtteri. That was shaky for me. Car is still not stable. I'm trying my best to put it like like a suction cup into the ground, but it's just not staying stable. As Max Verstappen said, car is feeling loose. 
Uh, Piastri trying to go for it. Wow. That was close. Close wheel to wheel racing. That's what we love to see. Alright, so we're down two cars. Valtteri Bottas and Logan Sargent. Piastri trying to go for a move here. Can I make the move stick just yet? I'm going to defend the inside line. Nice. Around the outside, just as green flags were waved. Feeling good about this drive so far. Russell behind by four tenths. Not bad, not bad. I'm enjoying this drive for now. But once these tires die off, that's a whole other story. But for now, I'm feeling good. Alright, let's see if some of these guys pull the trigger. I'm expecting some people to pit. Let's see. Anyone in? Not just yet. Maybe next lap. But we are in the pit window. I'm wondering if I want to pit now. Just so that I protect myself from the undercut. Because the undercut is massive around Australia. Because I can defend. Question is, I can't defend against an undercut. Oh, I nearly lost the car there. Box this lap. Okay, we can take you this lap. Alright, we're pitting. I think Liam might come in as well. Teammate status? Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 8.5 seconds. They're on old mediums. They're in 10th place. Time last lap was a 1 minute 21.1. Should be fine. If Even if he pits this lap, we should be able to double stack. Comfortably as well. Alright, here we go. Let's get the undercut. Oh, just in time. Look at that. That is beautiful. Ah, oh, little hold up, but that's fine. Liam coming in right now as well. Double stack masterclass down at Ferrari. Let's go. Let's hope that Liam gets a couple positions here. All right, P6 release. This is good. This is good. We got the undercut on some of these guys. So let's see what we can do on the mediums here. Much stronger tire. Here we go. We got some people in the pits. I think some of the leaders are in the pits right now. They're releasing right now. And there we go. The undercut worked. Yes. So we're back up. Stroll ahead. Who still needs to pit. Leclerc as well. Who still needs to pit, I think. Leclerc did a soft medium. I wonder if he's going to finish on the mediums. Highly doubt it. Those mediums should die up really quickly soon. Tell me Stroll pits now. No, he does not. But I have the DRS. Around the outside. Yes. Move done. Driver in front. Okay, gap to the car ahead is 5.6 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. Okay, they've got four laps on their tyres. And the time last lap was a 1 minute 17.9. Okay, Leclerc is not stopping again. Okay, we need to catch five seconds. Come on. Not much left in this, not much left in this, trying to nurse these tires home. We got Verstappen closing in though. This is a worry. Verstappen closing in is a worry, but I think I should be fast enough to see this out. Here we go then. Last lap, last lap. Verstappen's caught up. 
we have this lap to survive. First lap and thought about it, no grip for him on the hards. Pulls out of it. Gonna fly now. Come on. This sector two is gonna be very important. I need to find the right line to keep Verstappen behind. And I think I figured it almost out. Wanna be like a road car here. Oh my god. Around the outside. Picking up a little bit of the marbles, which is not great, but they should remove themselves fairly quickly. Inside line defense. Nice. And that should be that, I think. Just couldn't catch Leclerc. Leclerc was just too fast. The car is just wildly better than ours. But I am sandwiched between two Red Bulls and we secure P2 back onto the podium for Ferrari. Let's go. Good job, mate. Really, really well done. That was a fantastic drive. Bring it home. We've witnessed some great battles on the streets of Melbourne today then, and they've taken a fantastic win. So Natalie, what do you think helped them deliver this result? I really feel the track layout combined with the track temperatures we saw today suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently and it's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be so proud of the victory they secured here. What a result for us, pushing this car and putting it on pole, and then here we are, P2 in the podium. The car is just not optimal yet compared to the Red Bull, but we did well to manage the tires and also manage our track position, so that is beautiful. Leclerc wins it with myself and Verstappen on the podium. Piastri, Russell, Joe, Sonoda, Sainz, Hamilton, and Gasly in the top 10 points. I don't see my teammate here, that's a worry. Porsche, Magnussen, Albon, De Vries, Norris, all control. Lawson all the way down in P18. My goodness, he had some kind of shocker, I guess, and ended up back there with Bottas and Sargent not finishing today's race. So let's look at the standings. Then I do maintain my P1 in the driver's standing despite the P5 shocker last time out. 53 points to my name, 8 points ahead of Max Verstappen, and another 10 points ahead of Leclerc. Two point gap between Verstappen and Leclerc for the Red Bull team, and that puts the Red Bulls ahead of Ferrari. I am pulling this team by myself, but Liam Lawson really needs to step up a bit to help us out here in the constructors. But yeah, that is it for Australia. Very solid race, and the car felt much steadier than last time out, so I think I might keep this going. If you're wondering, what I did was I reduced the tire pressures a little, mainly because it feels like with the upgrades, the engine upgrades and the powertrain upgrades, we noticed that a lot of energy goes into the tires and overheats them quite easily. So I think I thought that with the pressure, it's going to overheat much easier. So I lowered them and then it felt much better. Maybe it might be just a setup issue as well for Saudi Arabia. But yeah, that is all for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe using the red button down below. Hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next. Thank you guys so much for your support. Take care and I'll see you guys for a new video tomorrow.